Welcome to the Creative Hudson. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create lightning in the Fendi Photo. This effect will allow you to add an interesting and dramatic look to your images. You can add this lightning effect to a nighttime photo or any other photo of your choosing. First, go to File Open and select the first landscape picture. Next, grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the context toolbar, set the mode to add and check the snap to edges box. Take the brush and select the sky. If you need to increase the brush size, press the right bracket key. Press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. Press Ctrl, Shift, and the I key to invert the selection. Or go to the Select menu and click Invert Pixel Selection. In the context toolbar, click Refine. Set the output to New Layer, then hit Apply. Now go to File Open and select the second landscape picture. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Make sure you're in the Add mode and that Snap to Edges is checked. Take the brush and select the sky of this picture. Twist to the Subtract mode if you need to deselect an area. Once you've selected the sky, hit Refine in the Context toolbar. Set the output to New Layer and hit Apply. Copy the sky layer and paste it onto the other document. In the Layers panel, label this layer Sky and place it beneath the Mountain layer. Label the other layer Mountain and delete the original image. Resize the sky image so that it covers the area of the original sky. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select Curves Adjustment. Drag the layer inside the sky layer. I want to darken the sky a little. Select the point on the left and slide it slightly to the right. Add a point in the middle of the curve and break it down. Next, add a third point further up the curve. Then select the point on the right and bring it down. Now we'll edit the mountain layer so that it blends in more with the sky. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Curves Adjustment and drag it inside of the mountain layer. Click on the point on the left and move it slightly to the right. Now add a point to the center of the curve and drag it down. Then click the point on the right and slide it to the left. Now let's get rid of some of the blue that's in the mountain ranges. With the Curves Adjustment still open, go to the blue channel. Add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it down. Then click the point on the right and drag it down. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Select the reflection of the mountains in the water. We want to get rid of some of the green that appeared. After you've made the selection, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the Curves Adjustment. Go to the green channel. Add a point in the center of the curve and drag it slightly down and to the right. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect. Name this layer Water 1 in the Layers panel. Next, grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel again. Take the brush and select the other part of the water. We want to darken the water slightly to match the sky. Make sure the mountain layer is selected in the Layers panel. Once you've selected the water, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the Curves Adjustment. Click the point on the left and drag it slightly to the right. Add a point in the center and drag it down. Then click the point on the right and drag it down. Go to the blue channel. Select the point on the right and bring it down. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. In the Layers panel, label this layer Water 2. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer. Then, grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Take the brush and select the light bluish area of the mountain. Make sure you're in the Add mode and that the new pixel layer is selected in the Layers panel. 
Now double click on the white color in the swatches panel to bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code 556B85. Then go to the edit menu and click fill with primary color to fill the layer with the fill color we entered. This color blends in more with the mountain. With the pixel layer still selected, go to the filters menu. Select blur, gaussian blur. Set the radius to three pixels. In the layers panel, lower the opacity of the layer to 75% and label the layer mountain tip. We'll now add some rain to the scene before we create the lightning. In the layers panel, click the add pixel layer icon to add a new layer. With the new layer selected, go to the edit menu and click fill with secondary color. The pixel layer should be filled with black since this is the secondary color in the swatches panel. Go to the filters menu. Select noise, add noise. Set the intensity to 100%. Select Gaussian and check the monochromatic box. Now go to the filters menu and select blur, motion blur. Set the radius to 60% and the rotation to 130 degrees. After that, go to the filters menu again. Select blur, gaussian blur. Set the radius to 0.5 pixels. In the layers panel, change the blend mode to pen light and lower the opacity to about 35%. Go to the Layers panel and select Add Pixel Layer to add another layer. We're going to add more rain. Then go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Secondary Color to fill it with black. Next, go to the Filters menu and select Noise, Add Noise. Leave the intensity at 100%. Now go to the Filters menu, select Blur, Motion Blur. Leave those settings as is. Then go to the Filters menu and select Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 1 pixel. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select the Levels Adjustment. Drag the Adjustment layer into the second rain layer we created. Set the Black level to 3%, White level to 80%, and the Gamma to 0.91. In the Layers panel, set the blend mode of this rain layer to screen. Select both of the rain layers and press Ctrl and G to group the layers together. Label the group Rain. Now that we've set the image up, it's now time to add the lightning. We're going to do this by creating a lightning brush. Go to File Open and select the lightning picture. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments Layer icon and select the Gradient Map Adjustment. Click the green color stop and click the Delete beside Reverse. Next, click the red color stop and go to Color. Go to the RGB Hex Sliders. Slide all three sliders to the right to change the color to white. Then, click the blue color stop. Go to Color and slide all three sliders to the left to change the color to black. This will make the lightning lines black and the background will be white. After that, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the Levels Adjustment. Set the black level to 10% and the white level to 51%. This makes the background completely white so that we can work with just the lightning. Select the background layer in the Layers panel. Then click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer above the background layer. Now grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Make sure the new pixel layer is selected. We want to get rid of the clouded area around the lightning. Go to the brushes panel and select one of the round soft brushes. In the swatches panel, make sure that the black color is active. Take the brush and remove the clouded area. Once you've done that, select all the layers in the layers panel. Right click on the selection and click Merge Visible. Turn the other layers off. Grab the Crop tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and crop the pixel layer so that it's focused on the lightning. In the Layers panel, right click on the lightning layer. Click Rasterize and Trim. 
Next, go to File Export and click PNG. Then, select Export and save the PNG file. Now, go back to our document. Go to the Brushes panel and click the menu in the right corner. Select Create New Category. Then, go to the menu again and click Rename Category. Name the category Lightning Brush. After that, go to the menu and select New Intensity Brush. Select the lightning image you saved. In the Layers panel, click Add Pixel Layer and name the layer Lightning. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Click the Lightning Brush in the Brushes panel. Increase the size of the brush by pressing the right bracket key. In the Swatches panel, set the color of the brush to white. Then, take the brush and click in the area between the dark part of the sky and the mountain. You can click the area more than once to make the lightning more bold. Now, we'll add some layer effects to the lightning to make it more realistic. With the lightning layer selected, click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Select Outer Shadow. Set the Blend Mode to Screen. Go to Color and set it to the following hex code. 0275F4 Next, set the opacity to 70%, radius to 100 pixels, intensity to 80%, and angle to 315 degrees. After that, go to the outer glow. Set the blend mode to screen. Go to color and set it to 021CA4. Next, set the opacity to 50%, radius to 100 pixels, and intensity to 60%. Now go to Inner Glow. Set the Blend Mode to Normal. Go to Color and set it to 3393FF. Set the opacity to 50%, radius to 2 pixels, and intensity to 82%. If you want, you can add another lightning or two to the image. Take the brush and rotate the direction of it by pressing the left or right arrow keys. Make the size of this lightning smaller by pressing the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. Then take the brush and place it in the area you want. Now we need to blend the top part of the lightning into the clouds to make it more realistic. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Erase Brush tool. Take the tool and erase some of the edges of the top part of the lightning. And this is how to create lightning in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.